I fell in love with a Scorpio. It's a crazy story though. She was super pretty, the baddest in my portfolio. She was super sweet, I would eat her up like a Oreo. I don't know how I got her, I'm giving God all the glory though. And she was born in October or November. I really cannot remember. I hope it doesn't offend her. She told me that she loved me because I was so sweet and tender. And I would always defend her. And I was not a pretender. <laughs> but one day she was acting so mysterious. I was curious, and honestly, I was furious. Wasn't talking to me, she really had me delirious. I was overthinking, I didn't know she was serious. I thought maybe she had I found somebody else but honestly she told me she was working on herself she took some time off to focus on her mental health and i had to accept it regardless of how i felt huh. but all in all what i learned in the end is i love scorpios i swear scorpios are 10 but be careful because as soon as you get in she might turn around. what's up y'all this is 1028 awakenings and i am back again with another motherfucking video what's going on y'all i hope y'all are looking good feeling good and motherfucking smelling good um Let's see. Oh, it's not plugged in? No. My little thing ain't plugged in. I'm like, what's going on? I'm pushing my button and it's not working. Okay, so Scorpios, let's see what's going on. We're going to put some angel messages for y'all. All right, let's see what's going on with y'all. Angel messages. Scorpio, your ancestors could be telling you, you need to stop fucking with somebody. <laughs> it says show yourself to send the masters. That shit came out reverse. You could be ignoring what they're telling you to do. You could be wanting to not cancel, clear, and delete somebody that you know you need to. Okay? Your intuition, you need to listen to that. Don't ignore it. So, I don't know. Maybe you sad. Maybe you lonely. But don't do that. Don't ignore yourself. Listen to yourself. Cancel, clear, and delete, Scorpio. This is somebody who gave you a gift. Okay? So whoever this is, you know, this is somebody who gave you a gift. You're supposed to be shielding yourself away from this person with the Ascended Masters, but you're not. Cancel, clear, and delete. You don't want to let them go. This is somebody who gave you a gift. Whoever this is, they thinking about sending you a message or you thinking about sending this person a message. <laughs> so Scorpio, shield yourself and Ascended Masters, okay? You can't shield. It's hard for you to shield yourself against this person. Um, this person gave you some kind of unexpected gift. This person thinking about sending you a message. Mm. You are concerned about this person. You think about this person a lot. Even though you have your guard up against them. With shield yourself. 333 is very significant. This person want to send you messages, but they delete it. You, you know, this person... You you want you want to you want this person to be concerned about you. This person this person showed they were concerned by giving you a gift. You think the only reason this person gave you this gift is because you made a big deal about it? That must be it. Bottom of the deck energy. This is not a family member. This family could be against you, though. Whoever this person, family, they could be against you. They probably, I don't think they like you. I don't even know if they fucking know you, bro. <laughs> okay, and that's just because the colors, the colors aren't the same color in my head when I see this other side. Okay, Scorpio, so look. You supposed to shield yourself from somebody? You didn't. You supposed to cancel, clear, and delete this person? You didn't. This person gave you a gift because you said you wanted it. This person want to send you a message, but they don't. This person and you are not kin, and I don't think they family like you. This person, think about the gift you gave them. This person could have canceled, clear, and deleted you. All right, so 
in this story, somebody cheated and they think about this deception. Now, in this story, somebody could have cheated and somebody is accusing somebody of cheating. This could be somebody that is from the islands or Caribbean because this is Shaggy. And this is this nigga saying that it wasn't him. And this is crazy because as long as I had these cards, I didn't even know Shaggy was in this motherfucker. So whoever this is, they were accused of cheating. Some of them, it did happen. Some of them, it did not. All right. But there was a gift given. Okay. Scorpio females, you could have gave this gift to this person or this person could have gave you this gift. Um, also, somebody loves somebody forever, no matter what they do, how many years pass or how many days pass. You love this person. We got Whitney Houston, I will always love you. That's very ironic that this song is in here. It says, if I stay, I would only be in the way. So somebody just felt like there was a burden to somebody. Maybe you didn't have enough financially and the other person did and you just didn't want to be a bum on this person. That's how you felt, you know. Um, so you left, okay. Maybe you just feel like you didn't have everything you needed to be put together, so you left. But um, you just felt like if you stay, you will only be in the way. You don't want to be nobody's burden. Um, so I'll go. And I know that I'll think of you every step of the way. Okay? So no matter that you're not with this person, this person still thinks about you during their accomplishments and maybe even vice versa. We also have Jagged Edge Down. So somebody just really feel like they done fucked up. Okay? We got walked out of heaven. I've been rolling down a lonely highway asking God to please forgive me. So, Scorpio, you done dipped out on whoever this is. Okay? Cancel, clear, and delete. It looked like you might have did that because somebody was cheating. Maybe you thought in your head that they was cheating, but you'll always love this person. Maybe this cheated on... Yeah, I'm talking about... I'm telling you, for some of y'all, this is somebody from your past. I think it's two people. I think you got a present person fighting in here for your attention and then a past person just reminiscing, just in the grid reminiscing because whoever this is, you caught them so many times. I think some of y'all just caught them while he was in the hole. Like, did you just walk in? Okay, so, I mean, you caught them so many times cheating and even when you caught them cheating, the nigga was like, it wasn't me, you know? The nigga just lying. Like, you know what I mean? Just lying. They would give you great gifts to amend the situation to fix the situation and maybe you would forgive them maybe the gifts that you would get were great you know what i'm saying but this person kept doing that and the universe kept telling you to shield yourself from this person this person thinks about these things a lot the cheating the infidelity they do this is somebody you do not have a family with i also feel like you got somebody out here that feel like you know when they out at night whoever this is they be driving on the highway at night or they be on the road at night or somebody's driving far away at night but whatever this is this is at night and they think about you they think about how you know they got something really good but they lost it you know what i'm saying and it felt like peace for a little while it's like whoever this is they feel like when they think about peace they think about you you know but they did some grimy shit to you and they hoping that you forgive them but they feel like it ain't gonna happen you know, somebody feel like they don't deserve heaven. It's crazy. Like, a lot of people who talk about the Bible and stuff and, and quote it, they don't even de believe that they deserve it. They feel like they deserve dumb shit, like bad stuff, you know, cars not doing what they need to do and not being healthy. And It's crazy. They like, It's like sometimes those people be the number one people like, well, you got to struggle. Like, what kind of shit is that? How do you love God and you think God wants you to be down here goddamn picking cotton? For 400 years, not one of them years, y'all don't think that he wants y'all to do something good or positive with yourself. So whoever this is, you know, they just walked out of heaven. They could have voluntarily walked by just going to go fuck somebody else, okay? Because it got shaggy here. It wasn't me. Somebody made a foolish decision. They don't even think it was a good decision. They still fucked with it, though. It says everything is clear now that the night's as black as they ever been. So somebody just realized, like, your energy being taken away, man, that shit got dark on the motherfucker, okay? And without my girl, I'ma lose it. And I pray that she just sheds her grace on me. So whoever this is, man, I feel like somebody finna light this nigga shit up. You know what I'm saying? You like, man, I don't even like you like that. Y'all gotta do better. Y'all niggas who be fucking monsters on your girl and your girl a baddie, that shit is dumb. You don't do that. 
If you cheat on your girl, you cheat on with somebody better than your girl. Yeah, it'll fuck up her self-esteem. But fucking up her self-esteem because you upgraded is way better than fucking up her self-esteem when you downgrade it. Because when you downgrade it, it's just like, what is going on here? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Females, if you understand me, put it in the comments, okay? I know it's going to be hard if your nigga, like, you know, like my, my, my ex, all my niggas got money. Every nigga that I've dated has had money, so... I can't see it unless it was the Persian. The Persian did have way more money than anybody else, okay? Okay? But it's like, God damn, and the Persian is my ex. But still, you know what I'm saying? Good shoes to fill. Good shoes to fill. I'm just simply saying at the end of the day, y'all, it wasn't me. It's not enough. And whoever this was, they was hella cheating, okay? But you'll always love this person. You got mad love for this person. Y'all went through a lot. Some of y'all could have been young when y'all dated this person. 17 21 33 you know what i'm saying just young okay that could be the age of some of these people that uh you talking to now all right some of this could have been a seven year relationship all right you could have been with this person for seven years this was a good reading this was funny as hell too all right let me pull some finances for these people your angels was helping you through this relationship for two as well okay Damn, y'all. Y'all about to get some money. This probably come from Bitcoin or something. It says you are financially secure and abundant. Sound good to me. Somebody thinking about how you are financially secure. Like, even if they don't got no money, it just feel like, you know, you just feel like, you know, you got it. But you know what? That's a vibration. You know, you just feel like you straight. I feel like I'm straight. I ain't got, I, I, even if I ain't got it, you don't know. You don't know. I don't know. And I don't give a fuck because I just feel like I got it. I know I'm a guy. I know it. I know it. You know what I'm saying? So it's like. You are financially secure and abundant and you continue to grow and maintain stability in your career and your finance. Multiple streams of income are recommended. So somebody thinks about how like, I feel like somebody's all in your business and they're breaking down every single form of payment that you are receiving. You know, like all tenders are accepted. Yeah, bitch, count it up, ho. Run that fucking makers through my millions, okay? Run your fucking minkies through my millions. <laughs> your minkies. Y'all remember mink nails? Mink nails, but anyway. But yeah, so somebody is really like going through your security, going through how many different channels that you could be getting paid for. I don't know why they're thinking about this so much. This is somebody who cheated on you all the time that's thinking about this. So somebody who cheated on you all the time who always was like, it wasn't me. When it was clearly done, when they did got caught in it. And even if she was a female, she cheated, she get around. <laughs> round and round, round and round, <laughs> okay? Damn, that was quick. Um, so somebody is also thinking about your advancement, how you've really grown, your career has grown, you've really achieved a lot of stuff for yourself, you have a lot of accomplish for your, um, a lot have, uh, you have a lot of accomplishments for yourself, all right, so somebody is really seeing how you improved your finances for yourself, all right, and this person feel like they walked out of heaven, like you could have been the goddamn jackpot, okay, I heard, but have a baby by me, baby, and be a millionaire, okay, maybe somebody feel like you're gonna be a millionaire, Okay, so you could be a person that like to pay for the whole bill at the end of the meal. Like, I got it. I'm just going to pay for everybody's food. Like, damn. You know you a boss when you do that. It depends on where y'all eating, too. <laughs> okay? Okay, so yeah. It's a big feast. Y'all could have just had a big feast. You know, Easter just passed. So you could have been thinking like, oh my gosh. People could have been talking about your achievements. All the things that you achieved at the dinner table. Okay? You could have been like, wow, this is crazy. This kind of heavy. Okay? So somebody could have been talking about that. All right? Uh, somebody could have been bringing up you at the dinner table for Easter, like, yeah, you remember Scorpio? You really fucked up with Scorpio. Scorpio doing her thing, you know? Scorpio got all this achievement. He looking good, too. Scorpio, yeah, he got a promotion at his job. I heard that shit, too. So somebody was really talking about you at the dinner table around family, okay? And maybe people who were married into the family was there, and they felt very uncomfortable by that. But there was this big feast, and they was doing a celebration, and somebody brought your motherfucking name up, and how magical you are and shit. So somebody could have been talking about your dumb ass on the internet doing magical shit. It says your dream life is manifesting magically. You are enough. You have enough resources to bring your desires into reality. Your income is increasing rapidly. God damn, Scorpio. I mean, that shit sounds so good to me <laughs> okay okay can't you see all right so your dreams are manifesting magically 
all right? And you have enough resources to do everything you want to do. Just set a goal. Set a bet with your angels and do the energy. Do what's required for you to, you know, achieve your goals. Inspire, create. And you don't have to do it in a traditional way. The only way you're going to do it right is if you do it untraditional and authentic as fuck. Then you good to go, okay? Damn, Scorpio, who the fuck was talking about you at the dinner table? Let's play. Somebody said they made some adjustments. I want to see who at the dinner table. Where the kipper at? Okay, so who at the dinner table talking about Scorpio? Let's say, let me know. Ooh, they was like, oh, did you know Scorpio was going to get that bread? Okay, so somebody was rubbing it all up in people's face that you done got an unexpected come up, money looking good, you're smelling good. Somebody at the dinner table talking about how you don't went from rags to motherfucking riches and you living the life, okay? Ooh. Somebody talking about how, you know, they matured over time, all right? So, you got a mature man talking about how you got unexpected income. This could be somebody daddy, somebody grandfather. They like, yeah, Ashley out here doing that thing. My bad. <laughs> Let me get out the reading. <laughs> Sometimes I got to make y'all laugh, okay? So, Scorpio, this could be an older man like, dang, why you won't, you know, go back to him? This this father like you, Scorpio male. They always talking good shit about you, all right? They always talking about how you grew up from nothing and now you making a name for yourself and it's a good name, okay? Woo! You, this y'all i don't know this don't it seem like it could be about the wealthy man the wealthy woman all right so everybody was talking about how you got your check i mean don't it sound like us the check look long as fuck unexpected income on top of that a wealthy man wealthy woman somebody saying you're looking good you're looking privileged okay this is suit right here so somebody said man you need to go ahead and get this person's daughter or you need to link up with this person's son because y'all look like a match made in heaven okay I don't know about that hat, you know what I'm saying? But I do like heavy fabric. Shout out to Chanel. But on some real nigga shit, somebody feel like y'all would have been the perfect fit. You know, privileged lady, privileged man. Y'all would have been doing y'all thing, okay? So somebody was talking about y'all at the dinner table about how your money look good. You looking wealthy. You looking smelling good, you know? And these parents could be still, you know, this a dad out here talking about you for real, Okay, privilege, talking about you look good, look like you being well kept, look like you keeping your, yeah, looking official as fuck. <laughs> Scorpio, you know parents really love us. They really do. I had some mommies that, dude, they did not like me, baby. Okay, they did not like me. The first kids, when that be the first kid, it be rough. Okay, the first kids be rough. But that's the ones I like. I like the first ones. Can we just talk it over? Okay, so somebody want to talk it over. The person that you kept, you know, the person that kept cheating on your ass over and over again. You talking about, I seen you this time. But that gift, okay, whoever this was, they gave you the best gifts. Okay? Every time they, every time something bad happened, they gave you a gift. I feel like a lot of people gave you a gift because this wealthy man gave you gifts too. Okay, or this is you just showering yourself with your own fucking gifts. But yeah. Somebody always be like, can we talk? Can we talk? Okay. But they would come with these good ass gifts, man. Them gifts will get you every time. <laughs> oh gosh, y'all. I don't know how, but you got my heart. You got to my heart. Okay. So this wealthy man is in love with you from the start. It says, do you still think about me in reverse? Okay. So somebody don't want you to think about nobody else. They don't even want you talking about no other niggas, like comparing them to no other. They don't want none of that. Okay, somebody just don't like it. Every time you talk about somebody, like, why are you talking about them? It bothers them. <laughs> okay, be careful, Scorpio. I don't know if you talk to a hood thing or not, but you know, this one nigga might in your throat, not cut you, but just, you know, this person might chop you or something. Somebody don't want you talking about other relationships or past relationships that kind of trigger them and kind of get on their nerves. Okay, because they might be comparing themselves to them people and they don't like that shit. They just want to do their own thing. Okay, something just turns somebody off. Ooh, Scorpio, what a read this was. This was so much fun. I really enjoy our time together. Let me get a fuck it card because I just want to see where we are. You know, on the spectrum, you just got to be like, fuck it. Where, where we at? Okay. What's up, y'all? <laughs> this was so much fun. I love all our time together. Don't you? I do. It'd be so good every time. All right, so we got a lot of fuck it. So karma will kick their ass. So somebody's karma is just watching you be successful, watching you be rich. Like, look at all them unexpected financial cards. I mean, that is somebody's karma. Maybe somebody didn't want you, you know, maybe felt like you was an aspiring actress or some shit, aspiring actor. Like, damn, now you just out here shining bright. You know, it's like, damn, you know, I should have helped that little shawty when they were struggling. You know, it's a lot of second guessing here. 
see the bigger fucking picture before taking action, okay? So somebody need to see the bigger picture before they go and go off crazy, okay? Because sometimes people be thinking, people be talking about people, and people aren't even talking about people. So somebody need to be like, hey, it's a general reading, back up, you know? Some of y'all be doing that in the comments, and I be like, damn, bitch, if you ain't got nobody that resonate with this reading, it's not for you, shit. How am I going to predict the cards? Like, I can't do all of that. I'm not God. I never told y'all I was the creator. The last one says the angel of fresh air says open up the windows and let some shit out. So some of y'all just need to let some stuff out, okay? You need to just be like, hey, man, this is bothering me. You need to just keep it 100 with whoever this is, okay? But I strongly feel like, you know, they can't do this. Some of these people was at the table with their family and they had their spouse there. And people just was talking about you, bringing up your name and shit. You know how disrespectful that is. <laughs> like, you know, I am here with another person, okay? And that could be how somebody was talking about it, But they was like, man, yeah, Scorpio... Scorpio got that bread, top of that bread, okay? Somebody really following you? Like, why are you following them? I'm not talking to them anymore. You need to stop following them. But somebody just still want to stay connected because they feel like, Scorpio, you might be a trillionaire in the future. They don't want to cut their ties. They're like, man, I know you don't fuck with her no boy, but shit, she might still fuck with me, <laughs> you know, as a friend. <laughs> like, what? No. Okay, so you could be really mad at a family member is still talking to or just affiliated with a dude that you used to talk to. You're like, mom, you cannot talk to this boy anymore. I don't talk to them, all right? I don't know if this your mama doing it, but there's somebody is drawing some really bad lines and they need to stay in their place, Scorpio. So you might need to check a family member, but they don't want to do that because they feel like your ex is like on the verge of blowing up and they don't want to cut ties. Everybody want to keep their lines of communication open, okay? All right, Scorpios, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.